Today I want to talk to you about one of the most overlooked and hidden secrets in No Man's Sky, the Ley Lines. If this is your first time hearing about them, then stick around for some hidden insights into how they could enhance your exploration in No Man's Sky. In real life, Ley Lines are the imaginary lines between important places. But the Ley Lines in No Man's Sky are a little bit different from real life. They follow the planet's longitude and latitude. I have mentioned before how using cardinal bearings can help you to locate important items and structures while exploring a planet. This is what is meant by following the ley lines. Now, how do you find these ley lines and what are the signs you're following them? Your search always has to start from a point of interest. This can be a building, a drop pod, ancient molonet, or whatever noteworthy point of interest you can find. Each of these sites is generated along these imaginary lines. Once you find one of these locations and you follow a cardinal direction, other points of interest will be found along that direction. When having the analyzer's visor installed, you will get a compass on top of your screen that shows you either the north or south on the planet and that makes it rather easy for you to follow that direction. East and west are a little harder, as there is no indicator on the compass for it. There are a few tricks however to keep a steady direction even without the compass installed. Depending on the planet you land on, there should be a native plant to the biome you landed on. For lush planets, that will be a star blob. For toxic planets, that will be fungal mold. For hot planets, solanium, and so on. If you are not sure, you can always find the native plant on the discovery page. These plants will also generate along those ley lines. Very often, depending on the terrain, you will find two groups of native plants not too far from each other along that line. When following a ley line, it should not take too long before you come across another set of these plants, letting you know you are in the right direction. Take note that buildings and plants do not exactly generate straights on that ley line. They will be found to the left and the right of it, so it can be easily missed when flying too quickly. Especially because the generation and rendering of the sites can take a little time, it is good to take your exploration slow. Using the ley lines is a great way to find crashed starships or certain buildings. Even special resources will be generating along those lines. Some examples are curious deposits, metal fingers and floating crystals. I hope this short guide gave you some insight into the hidden game mechanic and help you in your future explorations. Check out one of my other videos if you got the time and don't forget to hit that like on your way out. Thank you so much for watching, this was Beeblebum, goodbye for now.